everybody. Welcome to Catherine Sews. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today I want to show you a really fun and fast way to make a, a beautiful Christmas stocking. And it can be made out of cute cartoony fabrics kind of like this or fancier fabrics if you prefer. But it's a nice technique that I want to show you because it goes lightning fast. My students have been making a lot of them and they all have just turned out really nicely. So let me show you what you're going to need and how to do it. So what you're gonna need is a pattern, and I just made this pattern by tracing off a stocking that I already had at home. I think a mistake a lot of people make is they make their stocking pattern too small. So this one is about eight and a half inches at the top edge, and it's about 20 inches long. I used two pieces for the backing. They end up sandwiching together, so you get a nice clean finish on the inside. This is the foundation fabric, like that, so it's any fabric that you can use to build your foundation on, but it, not, it doesn't show at all in the front, so it doesn't have to be anything beautiful. So basically you're cutting your stocking out three times, once in the foundation piece, and then twice in whatever you're using for the back. And then all of these little scraps, I just use four different colors, and these are just 12 inch by 12 inch squares. And then one piece of, this is just white fleece, or you could use fake fur if you wanted, let's say six inches by 18. A piece of ribbon for hanging it, so about eight, eight and a half inches long. So I'm gonna begin by stacking my four pieces together. So for these, 12 by 12 squares. I want to start by just cutting them in half. I want to now cut them both on an angle, starting from about two inches here and going to about two inches there. Nothing here has to be super precise. Good. So angles like that, about two inches and four inches. Okay, so I'm gonna take my first one. I'm just gonna be placing it across the top of the stocking face, and I'm just trying to cover that top end. And I'll just put a few pins. And this is the only one I'm gonna actually be sewing from the reverse. So on this one, I'm gonna just sew those three sides. And then I'm gonna show you how to put the second piece on. So from the reverse, I just wanna sew around the edge of the stocking. I'll take my second piece and just place it how I want it to be, making sure I'm covering the foundation piece. Once I know I'm happy with that, I'm gonna flip it right side up, and I'm just gonna check when I fold that down, is it still covering here, right? If I'm not careful, I could easily end up like this where I'm not covering here, good? So I'm gonna put it right side, check, and I'm good. So now I'll be sewing all of the next pieces all like this, right sides together with the previous one. Okay, good. And now for each of these, every time I sew one, I'm gonna run over to the iron and press that down. Now here I do have a little bit of a gap. Even though I was telling you to be careful, I ended up with a little bit of a gap myself. So I'll have to push this one up a little. Well, you can just play around how you want the piece to look. That looks like it's gonna cover nicely, so I'm gonna sew that right there. As I come around the heel, I want the wider piece at this end and the narrower piece here. I might even need to scooch that narrow piece up so that it starts to bend around the heel. Now 
so the whole stocking is covered so that's what it's looking like so far it's looking a bit crazy but on the back we still have our perfect outline of the stocking so I'm gonna just trim this off you can use scissors or rotary cutter so now I take my two layers remember I cut two of the backing fabric I'm gonna put one on one side and one on the other side so my stocking is getting sandwiched in between these two layers of the white backing good I want to make sure all my edges are nicely together I'm gonna pin and sew right from this corner all the way around up to this corner of course I'm not gonna sew across the top edge but I do want to pin because that's a lot of layers to keep track of and I'm gonna sew around at the 15 line or the 5 8 line I should mention that before you sandwich it together, if you wanted to do any fancy work on this side, you could certainly do that now with embroidery stitches or ribbon or extra trim on these seams. Uh, I'm gonna keep it simple, but if you did wanna do that, you have to do it now before you sandwich it all up. Now, just before I turn it right side out, I'm gonna trim down my seam allowance. First of all, I'm making sure I caught all the edges. I'm not gonna have any holes when I turn it. I think I'm pretty good. So then if I'm confident, then I'm gonna trim down my seam allowance just around the curved areas, just so it's not super bulky at those edges. So I'm gonna reach in between the good side and the white, not between these layers, the, the foundation and the white. So I'm gonna reach in this way to turn it all right side out. Okay, looking cute. So now, before I go back to the iron, I wanna get that seam right out to the edge. I don't wanna see the white when I'm looking at the front of the stocking. I definitely don't wanna see the white. Okay, see how when that, I lay that down, I see the white? Just roll the front side out over it. The next couple steps can be a little confusing because they're totally counterintuitive. I'm gonna take my piece of ribbon and fold it in half. So this is the heel side of the stocking. I definitely want it on this edge, but where I put it is actually inside, the clean finished edge inside. It's gonna end up on the outside, but to get it there, we have to sew it to the inside. I know that's confusing, but don't worry. Trust me, it'll work out. So I just want to do a back tack across the top of the ribbon there. Good. So the ribbon's in place. And now all we have left to do is the cuff. So my cuff piece, I just want to compare the width of it to the width of the stocking. I think that's about perfect. So I'm going to sew this right sides together and just at the 15 line or 5 8 line. So now just like any cuff, we're gonna be opening that seam up and folding it onto itself and flip it all out. I wanna put it right side of the cuff to the inside of the stocking. But I'm bringing that seam right to where my ribbon is, which is at the heel edge. And pin there. So get this all inside. Now, if you, if you find that this is just a little bit too big, turn the stocking inside out. So it's always easier to have the bigger piece on the outside. Okay, maybe just four pins around that circle because that cuff is gonna stretch. It's gonna wanna move, but I'm gonna try to make sure it stays where I pinned it. And that is it. So we'll just turn the stocking right side back out. Good, and then turn the cuff down. The nice little ribbon now emerges and you can see how that's gonna hang. And oh my gosh, we're done. Okay, good, it's done. That was probably half an hour and it's really cute. Don't you think I could embroider somebody's name onto the cuff? 
that would be cute. But there you go. There's our Christmas stocking in under an hour. If you like that video and if you learned something, please hit that subscribe button because it helps me a lot. I really do appreciate it. Wishing everybody happy holidays and hope for a better 2021. Take care. Thank you.